Okay. Fourteen point two eight five percent. Then you round it off to fourteen point three percent because they required it to be one decimal place. All right. Next question. So we have eighty minus seventy five. That will give us five again divided by eighty. Hundred percent. So we get six point two five. Although this is exact, but the question wanted one decimal place, so six point three percent. Okay. Now, part C. So this is the start, the actual start of your homework question. Increase. So you write out percentage increase. Okay, Marilyn, what do we start off with in the numerator? It is always the same. Big minus small. Berlin. Forty nine minus forty five. So we have big minus small, and what do we divide this by? Forty five, which is the original, and you multiply all this by hundred percent. So four divided by forty five. Eight point eight 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 nine percent rounding off to become eight point nine percent. So there's an increase of eight point nine percent, close to nine percent. Now next, increase the selling price. So percentage increase. Okay, next. Yes. Okay, divided by original. And what do we get? Is this correct? What is it round off to? What is this you got to? Hey, wait. Do you have a mistake? Oh, sorry, sorry. Twelve point five. Sorry, sorry. So this is twelve point five percent. Okay. So that's the answer. Next. What's next? Uh, Percentage? No? I need to have a statement first. Increase or decrease? Decrease! Okay. Yes? Okay, divided by divided by one point one. Actually, don't you write the zero right? One point one is fine, huh? Okay, and multiply by one hundred percent. So we have thirteen point six three six three six. Yeah. So thirteen point six percent. Why? Any problem? No. Okay, I want you to take note, uh, in your working, I still need to see all these percentages. You cannot leave them out. You cannot leave them out and then, oh, just write for the answer statement. Cannot. I must see all of them. Okay? You, if you look carefully, I always put them when they are required. Okay, next, page 14. Now, calculate profit or loss. We need to learn what these two words mean. Profit. Okay, so right on the side, profit. Profit is the extra money you earn. Okay, you see, uh, when you talk about the money you earn, right, people may be confused. Why? So let's say I, I bought uh, this duster for $1. Let's say I bought this duster for $1. Now I sell it. I sell this duster for $3. How much did I earn? $2. Okay. 
Okay. Now let's look at the part two, the next part. The cost is one hundred twenty dollars. So you spend one hundred twenty dollars to buy something, and now you sell it for ninety nine. Loss. Okay, loss. So what is the loss? Yeah. How do we calculate the loss? What minus what? So we get twenty-one dollars. Okay. Oh, is it negative twenty-one? No. Is it negative twenty-one? No, it's positive twenty-one. It says loss already. Yeah, it says loss already. But if you are asking about profit, if you are saying profit, ah, uh, not for this question, profit will be ninety-nine minus one two zero, and you will get negative twenty-one. But the question is asking: Is it a profit or loss? Ah, then you should say it is a loss. Okay. Then let's go on to part B. Yes, I know we have the next period, but it is still a homework. Now in part B. Not yet. B part one. I'll show you how to do this. Express the profit or loss as a percentage of the cost price. This is the original. So express your answer in part one. For example, the profit is six percent. Oh, sorry, six dollars. Express this as a percentage of the cost price. So you write down percentage. Okay, copy this down first. Part B, part one. Percentage. Next word. The next word is important. Is it a profit or loss? Profit. Percentage profit. That will be our six dollars over our original, which is the cost price forty five, and we multiply this by one hundred percent. Okay. So how do you get six dollars again? So we refresh our memories. How do we get our six dollars? Fifty one minus forty five. Remember that it's our big minus small, big minus small divided by our original. It's the same thing, isn't it? Your percentage increase is the same as your percentage profit, and we will be able to get the answer very easily. Six divided by forty-five multiplied by one hundred. Twenty. Uh, three SF. Ah, uh, three SF. So this will be thirteen point three 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 percent. Round it off to become thirteen point three percent. That is a uh, quite a high percentage profit. Okay, now part B, part two. What would it be now? Percentage profit or loss? Part B, loss. It is a percentage loss. So what is the numerator? Again, it will be big minus small, and we have calculated it to become twenty one. Twenty one over one two zero, one hundred percent. So calculator again. 
You get 17.5%. Okay, now this is a percentage loss. That is a bad thing. We it is like the idea of a loss. When the loss over here is positive, it is a bad thing. When the profit is a positive number, it is a good thing. When the profit is negative number, it is a bad thing. You know how to make profit. Okay, good if you know how to make profit. So your homework is also part three and part four. So we now have a few questions for your homework already. Next period, we will continue with the remaining questions on this page. Plus that, uh, percentage profit or loss? Percentage profit or loss? Profit. So we write now, percentage profit. Okay. So what is now the percentage profit? Just like your percentage increase or decrease, okay, all set up, all set up, set up. Until there's silence, then we sit down, yeah? Just like our percentage increase or percentage decrease, we always have big minus small. So in this case, we have decided, hey, we are going to be making some money. It is a percentage profit. So what is the value that we are supposed to subtract from another value? Okay. Yes. Oh no, 220. Because we are comparing with the original, 220. And we multiply this by 100%. Okay, so this is our percentage profit. 5%. Not a lot. 5 over 220 times 100. So it is not 5%. But huh? why would it be 5%? <laughs> $5 divided by 220. So we get 2.2727 Round off to become 2.27% Okay, wait, uh, 3SF right? Yeah, correct Okay, so we first have to decide Is it a percentage profit or a loss? Then we, can, we continue with our working Okay, all sit up Any questions for this? No! No? Okay, let's move on Are you sure you need so long? Yeah. Okay, so in part B, uh, part B, I think uh, there is a, they are selling it at 199. Okay, let's take a look. If you are selling at 199, is that a good thing or bad thing? Bad thing, right? I, you are losing money. So is it percentage profit or loss? Profit. Loss. Percentage, loss. Uh, we don't need to care about that. In this case, we just want to know profit or loss. So, percentage loss. What minus what in this case? Uh, uh, 220? Oh, two okay, we are still dividing by the original. Divide by the what you're comparing with. Then multiply by 100%. So that will be um, 21. Nine point five four five four percent. One two three four. Up. Nine point five five. Okay. So the next one is also your homework. Pass it, homework. Um, let's see. Okay, let's do part 3A now. Do it together. 3A. Calculate the overall profit or loss for each business transaction. Complete the table. So the cost price will be $15 for each calculator. One calculator, $15. 
Now this person is selling two calculators for $18. Is that good or bad? Good! Good right, earn money right? Better than! But he is selling one calculator for $14. Is that good or bad? No. Better! Yeah, that's bad. Okay. okay? So overall, is it a profit or a loss? Loss. loss. How do you know? Because he should sell one calculator for $15. No? Yeah. Okay. Okay. The, the situation over here is that two calculator he sell $18, right? Yeah, yeah. So it makes some money. But there is one calculator he sell at a loss. So overall, did he make money or lose money? Okay. How can we confirm? Because I don't know. $18 minus $15 is $3. Where you get $2 from? Okay. Okay, so now. Okay, look, this is how we are going to calculate overall profit or loss. Okay, we write down profit. Okay, all write this down first, profit. Okay, now profit is supposed to be the amount that we, uh, whatever we get, that's like the revenue, then you minus away what you used. So how much did he get altogether? How much did he get? In his cash register. 2 times 18. Is that all? Did he only get 2 times of $18? No, what else did he get? Another $14. Okay, and now we need to subtract. We need to subtract the amount that he spent. How much did he spend? Minus. How much did he spend? Only 15? Look carefully at the question. It is not difficult. No, how much did he spend? What is the cost price? Look carefully. Uh, how do you get how do you get 45? How do you get 45? Uh, 3 times of 15. Okay? So the profit will now be 36 plus 14 minus 45. And he earns $5. This is the profit. Okay, anybody do understand what's happening here? Anybody do understand? So overall, is, is this business okay? He earned money, right? Yeah, he earned $5. Not bad. Huh? Okay. Now, let's take a look at the next one. 10 staplers. He bought 10 staplers for $3 each. And now he's selling 7 of them for $3.50. Is that good or bad? Good. He earned 50 cents for every stapler, right? Very good deal. And then after that, he sells three staplers for two ninety each. Is that good or bad? Good. Good. Not bad. Bad. Not bad. Very expensive. He's losing money, right? But he's losing 10 cents only. Yeah. Overall, do you think he's going to make money or lose money? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, I think he will make money. Yeah, because but I don't know yet. So I need to calculate. So I run up profit again. Okay, let's see. What's the profit now? What is the calculation for this profit? Seven times three fifty. Then what else? Three times of two ninety. And this is the amount that he gets in his cash register. Then we still need to subtract away ten times of three dollars. That is what he spent. Okay, so get the value. We get three dollars twenty cents. Okay, now, um, part three. Part 3 So we have 20 cups He bought it for $2 each Okay, 20 cups, $2 each He sells 17 for two thirty. Is that good or bad? Good Good, he earned 30 cents each Then he sells 3 cups for one eighty each Good or bad? Good or bad? 3 cups, one eighty. No, it's bad He's losing money He lose 20 cents Yeah, but he earned so much more earlier on, right? Okay, so profit 
Okay, how much did he make all together? 17. 17 times how much? 230. Then plus, we've got another 3 times of 180. And we take away 20 times of $2. So here, four dollars fifty cents. Okay, now in these three questions, uh, we did not know that he was going to make a profit before we calculated. But we still went ahead to write profit equals to blah blah blah, blah. and then we found that hey, in both all three cases, the profits were all positive. All positive, that is a good sign. But what if we calculate, because there's a subtraction in all of them, minus 3 times 15, minus 10 times 3, minus 20 times 2, maybe in a test, I think I will set profit negative. So if the profit becomes negative, what does that mean? Lost money. Lost money. Okay, so for example only, uh, example only, if my last question, last answer is, Instead of $4.50, it became negative 0 0.20. What does this mean? The profit is negative 0 0.20. So how do we write our answers? Is there a profit or is there a loss? loss. Okay, so when this happens, then you continue to the next line. Loss equals 20 cents. I can write it in dollar. Dollar 0 0.2. Okay, that is in my red color example. You can copy this down, but make sure you know what you're doing. I'm not saying that the answer is 20 cents in this case. Okay, this is just an example. And now, express the overall profit or loss. Turns out they're all profits. As a percentage of the cost price, give your answer to 3SF. Okay, and this will be our last homework question, which we will do right now. We'll do it together now. Okay, B part 1. So, percentage, is it a profit or loss? B part 1. In this case, we have a percentage profit. Percentage profit, we have $5 out of the original of 3 times 15 times 100%. So, he spent $45, but he, ex he had a profit of $5. So, 5 divided by 45 and we multiply this by 100, we get 11.111%, round off to become 11.1%. Okay? And then part two, part three, homework, all can do right now. Okay, all do it right now, so that you have less work at home. <laughs> 